Now what's the next thing? Well, now that it creates a new problem. What if we have new data coming, okay? What if you want to refresh the page, but right now we can't, even though it can scroll up and down, but actually it's not a refreshing, it's just a scrolling up and down. What are you gonna do? Now in that case, actually we need to come over here, uh, our home widget over here, this one. Now we can make the whole page actually uh, refreshable. Now how to do that? Now I'm gonna cut this one and then I'm going to wrap it around refresh indicator and then it would take a child and in the child itself we're gonna keep this and then it has a callback function which is called on fresh on refresh actually now refresh takes a future so we need to assign a future so what does this feature do this feature is actually for refreshing your data so what data you want to refresh actually the data we want to refresh that comes through this one now over here what actually gets data from server for the first time actually this method right this method this is the method that gets called load the data right so this is something that we want to call from here inside this but right now this is private so the first thing we have to do, we need to convert it to a public method. I mean, you can't have this underscore. Underscore makes it private. Now, next time you want to refresh it, all you need to do, you have to call like this, ref.refresh method. Then inside this, you call your provider, in our case, home course list provider, and then notifier and then the method itself our method is fetch course list this one and that's it and after that you have to do return so you would get the data and refresh the related pay refresh the related event listener or listeners or the one that takes the data for example over here this one this listens to this home course list provider which is this object so it will update this object which means the callback inside this which means the widgets they'll all get updated with the new data all right so that's how it should work now let's go ahead and restart our app okay everything is still same as before we'll see that over here we don't recall we don't call our API again and then right now we'll get this refresh indicator as you see when you call the refresh indicator actually you get data from server and that's what happened over here we are getting data from the server beautiful so once we make our class singleton and after that if you want to refresh the data first you can use refresh indicator over here and inside this first one could be any kind of widget and second one where over here we have on refresh this one would get data from the server so you need to call the related method with the related provider and make sure that you call it inside ref.refresh and that's how everything should work